hello what's up today in this video I, will, I want to show you how you can start collecting email address so that you can start your email marketing in my in one of my last video I showed you uh, one of the best email service providers especially for a beginner uh, which is Mailship now if you watch that video I showed you how to create your account and I want to believe you have watched that video so this is a continuation of that video now once you have created your account and you have logged in you want to start collecting email address from your subscribers and that is to say you will need a form on your website or on your landing page where they will fill their names or their email address or numbers so how do you get that form on your website this is what i want to teach you now now to get your form you will go to audience and when you go, go to the audience tab you click on sign up forms If you click on sign up forms then you are going to select i believe you must have okay let's say i want to assume you have not yet built your your form so you select form and design your form first okay now i've already designed this form i've already built it and if you watch my previous video you will see how i built it you know by default you see other things that are here which you need to delete now this is what we are left with now and we're okay with these two which is email address and first name you know the more questions you are asking the more details you are asking your lead to provide the more there will be likelihood that they are not going to subscribe so you make sure you limit it to email address and first name limit it as much as possible to increase your likelihood of getting more leads now once you have designed your your form then the next thing is how you can incorporate it into your website so you go to your sign up form again so want to go further now this time around we are going to click on embed forms so you select embed forms okay if you click on that you are going to see this code so if you click anywhere inside this space the whole of this code will be highlighted so you will copy it right click and copy then you go to your wordpress dashboard make sure you install insta builder 2.0 which you downloaded as a bonus if you possess my product that has insta builder as a bonus and in case you have not yet possessed my course and then if you possess any of my course and you meet the requirements of the bonus then you have insta builder now if you have insta builder you have downloaded it what you need to install it is just go to plugin then click add new then instead of searching for it here you are going to click on upload and if you click on upload you it would you will go to the directory where you downloaded the insta builder then you now click on upload 
then once you upload then you install after installing you activate it and you are good to go so i want to believe you have already activated it and if you have any question if you have any challenge during the activation you let me know in the comment section then you will now go to your dashboard there are other ways you can install your your form on your website but this video is specifically for insta builder if you are using insta builder now if you click on your insta builder dashboard it will take you to this page so you are going to click on create a landing page there are so many templates here that you can use you can even save your own template that will appear here so take for instance there are so many that you can use i just want us to use a simple one that we can use to collect email address okay let's select this so we hit on shoes all right heard of this so what we are going to do i hope you know our that code we copy is still in our clipboard so we are going to select this form that has been created in our template and if you don't know how to create it assuming this is and uh, we are designing from scratch then you just have to go to look for opt-in okay this is opt-in you just drag it drag it somewhere and you have your form there so we don't need this one now since we are already have it in our template so you will select this form make sure you select only the form not the right up select only the form and you are going to click on this gear icon to take you to editing mode then you are going to click on opt-in form html code and you are going to paste that code you copy from mailship here and click process if you click process it has automatically added a new field which we don't want so we need to edit that so you just you still select the form again and click on the gear icon this time around we are going to edit opt-in form field then we are going to click on manage field now this extra one that is added here is what we don't want we are going to delete that then we are going to check the email required and we are going to mark it as is email then hit save if you like you can select this as required then hit save and if you hit save that extra space have gone now you are going to edit all of this to your taste you are going to edit all of this to your taste then even this page you are going to edit it to edit this page let's do some editing here now the first thing is um, logo for your logo you are going to locate the thing for instance this is where i need to place my logo i am going to duplicate this view if i duplicate this view i will go to you can see i have two views now for my website 
then I'm going to for this very one I'm going to exit if I exit then I will go to media okay now if I go to media I'm going to select my logo and if I select my logo I'm going to copy the link see the link here make sure you highlight everything inside the link and copy then I'm going to go to the second tab here which I duplicated before this is my insta builder uh, tab so i want to replace this default this dummy logo with my own logo so i click on the gear icon the inside replace the link i'm going to remove all this link and paste my own link if i paste my link here my logo is now showing here then i'm going to i'm going to size it resize it i'm going to resize it then once you resize your logo has appeared here then the next thing we may do here is we may need to change the the background image to be more customized to change the background image we are still going to go to our library and i'm going to close that i believe you must have gotten the image you want to use as the background let's say we want to use this image as the background you just select it if you select it then you are going to copy the link if you copy the link then you go to where you are working and you are going to go to this gear icon at the top here and you are going to click page setting if you click on page setting you will see background image you can see this is the background this is the default background image and we don't want it we don't want it we don't want this we want our own customized background image so we are going to remove that link and we re if we remove that link you see the image has gone so we are going to paste our own link here you can see it's now more professional it's now more professional except that the color of our logo is is not contrasting with the background and we can always do something about that it's something that we can always do something about but we are not going to bother ourselves on that now the most important thing we want to learn in this video is how to get our form how to get our code inside our form now something is wrong here is because we have not saved before i duplicated that page our form is not what it's supposed to be so let me get back and copy this code let me select it again then i go to html and paste I paste and hit process then I'm going to select the form go to gear icon then I'm going to edit field then manage field uh, check this check this and check this then this we will delete and hit save okay if you hit save you are good to go you now have your email address which is asterisk meaning it is required and first name 
okay then the next thing we will do is to set the we we'll click on page info and su we are going to give it a name maybe we'll give it as um tutorial opt-in you give it a name that you want your page to be you can fill all here this is meta description this is for seo papers we'll not bother ourselves on all this for now then we are going to change the permalink then we'll click on let's give it as tutorial opt-in no we will not write opt-in we we'll just give it as tutorial because this is what facebook will use you can use this as your landing page so it has to be the permalink has to be defined it has to make some sense to your subscribers it has to make some sense it has to be relevant to your business what you are doing and if you have edited it you can click ok okay once you have clicked ok i can now close this so your form is now is now set your form is good to go except that our logo is not very good then you can modify all this i will show you later in the video how you can customize your landing page but uh, i think you have now known how to install your form on your landing page and that is the focus of this video in the next video i will show you how to design your landing page professionally and in case you have not yet gotten my course then click on that link in the description to get it so that you get started having done all that then you need to save you need to publish okay if you publish your page is now live then you can now copy the permalink and view it and see how it look like paste it somewhere and take a look at it okay you can see i think it doesn't look well it's not looking professional so something is wrong somewhere there especially the background so we are going to still edit the background paste setting background image then oh, that's image position we are going to put it at the center top center center top okay i want it to be fixed background image size 100 percent then let's save let's view it again let's reload okay i think this is better this has now filled the whole page okay think this is the much we can take in this video 
thank you for watching the video and see you again in the next video bye